Hey guys, it's JH. Welcome to Practice Tea. We've got a massive storm coming in here, guys. Just got to get this uh, out of the way and done. Going to get three or four inches of rain, apparently. Whew. And a lot of thunder and lightning. Okay, guys, just carrying on with the theme of of uh, my tweaking and refining of, uh, of my channel lock. What I'm really working on now, and, and what I think anybody else that's going down the same path as me should be doing, is trying to get as much secondary tilt as we want, as we can get on the downswing here. So we want to be in that position there as a feeling when we hit it. Now the advantage of that, guys, is that clearly being in that position there gives a, uh, a propensity to keep the five o'clock nose in place easier and of course it drives the the mass and the weight down that trail vertical axis which is where we want it to be in the channel lock swing we don't want to be it on the lead side we want it to be on the trail side so we can be in the channel sorry guys it's really hot and sticky today So we want, it, we want to be here as much as we can. As a feeling, post impact, if we can get that feeling, that's where we want to be. Now see how the knees are flexed and a little bit soggy there? We'll just check that, uh, that camera there, guys. Okay guys, sorry about that. Got the tractor here doing some mowing so it'll be a bit noisy. But we want to, you know, ideally we want to be in that position there when we hit it. <clears throat> now coming down in the golf swing, in the channel lock golf swing, coming down, we want to make sure that we stay down to the ball. We don't want to get down here like that, but make sure that we stay in our shape when we hit it in the shape and back. So that's the objective, you want to stay in the shape, which is this shape here. We want to stay in that shape and we want to stay back when we hit it. That's really what we want to do. That's what I'm working on in my channel lock protocol right now. And so as a finished look, I want to feel, I want to feel that. And of course I'm turning that lead arm down and over, which is going to, uh, to give us that good extension with the lead arm. And of course, the significant thing that I'm working on for me is getting my three lever golf swing in place here, the lead arm <coughs> here. Now guys, if I can get a little bit of bend in it in the, in the back swing, on the downswing, the first feeling that I need in the golf swing is to pull with that lead hand and that lead forearm in the downswing, because that will clearly straighten the lead arm coming into the ball. We don't want to have a bent lead arm at the top and have a bent lead arm at impact. We want to have the bent lead arm here, pull it down and fire it there through the ball. Just like that guys, and the easiest way to do that is just pull with the lead arm, just as if you had an arrow in a quiver here, you're just pulling the arrow out of the quiver here we are, this is our arrow, we're just pulling it out and of course we've got, if we were going to pull an arrow out of a quiver we'd have a bent lead arm wouldn't we, we wouldn't, wouldn't be going in like that go here and we just pull it out that's the feeling, pulling an arrow out of the quiver That's, a, that's actually probably a good mental picture and descriptive that, uh, of what we need to do. So I'm working on being here, bent lead arm, pulling it in here, and being in that position there when I hit it. Really strongly. I can't believe how sweaty it is today, guys. 
the hands are just so wow really hot to the hands sticky that's why the big storm's coming in perfect weather for a storm <clears throat> okay so this is what I want to look like in terms of, of, of the swing the way I need it to look and of course the, the general uh, structuring of the protocol guys is that that back foot ball position is just there back foot we put it there first and then we move into position wherever this lead leg wants to go just let it go whatever suits you I just put it there for balance and for me it's a little shut just makes it a little easier for me to turn on the backswing but you can have it open if you want I just find that once I'm in here like that I just bring it up to wherever it is there and then when I back cock it is where it is yeah you just pull with that lead arm and we want to have the flex in the legs when we hit it going to bend it see I'm into my knees here guys that's a good shot first shot of the day and I'm into my knees there guys see that I'm into my knees and I'm staying back uh, as a as a look and as a feeling club nearly flew out of my hands amazing you need cords in the summertime I just have to regrip my clubs and put some cords on I normally put cords on for the summer yeah. see I'm into my knees there guys can I just do it nice and smooth couldn't be any smoother than that wow having the devil's own job hanging on to this golf club guys it's just twisting I couldn't believe the difference in in weather just in 24 hours had no grip problems at all up until uh, today I mean that was just uh, clubs almost coming out of my hand okay the nice and smooth get into the soggy knees now guys pressuring down into the ground if you pressure down into the ground it'll push back at you pressure into it and, and you can't flex your knees unless you pressure into the ground if you try pressuring into the ground without flexing your knees it don't work you have to pressure down and maintain the pressure down bend back pull and, th and then stay back stay back in the uh... really nice shots struggling to hang on to the club can you believe it I can't believe how hard it is to hang on to the golf club it just wants to come straight out of my hands so here we go because sitting down pressure into the ground bend it pull it pull with that lead arm just do a little smoother than that just a little smoother come on Jase bend it wow I think I'm getting some bend there guys I can feel the club actually loading there but see how I'm staying back and I've got my bent legs which is all part of the original part of the protocol but now I'm putting it all together this is what I call the real protocol the real JH protocol the one I want to use my real deal protocol come on Jase just bend it wow these are great shots guys just great for me I'm not trying to give myself a a wrap here but they're good for JH they're as good as I've ever hit it never hit the ball better than that and people say you know every every, every video there's something different and why does that happen it happens guys because we're developing we're developing a golf swing here it's a development phase you look at all the guys Clay Ballard Jim McLean any of those guys that teach on the internet they've got something every day they've got a new tweak every day it's it's, it's what you do when you're developing golf swing and you give people options there's no such thing as a final product it doesn't happen there's always a, a final product with a potential for improvement that's all I do for someone to say that you should never you know you shouldn't change your golf swing every every time you practice Ben Hogan thought about something every time he practiced 
the famous line where that fellow asked him at a clinic once, he said to Hogan, oh Mr Hogan, on, on, the, on, the, on the backswing, do you think about, about cupping your wrists and then maintaining that cup on the downswing? And Hogan had a cigarette, and Hogan took the cigarette and looked at him and said, fella, I think about everything. Fella, I think about everything. And Jimmy Demera said that Hogan would be working on 20 things at the same time. He never stopped working on it, right up until he couldn't practice anymore. And I'll never stop working. I'm refining what I've got. So to say that you shouldn't have something different every time there's a video, of course you should, because you're evolving and you're, and you're, and you're structuring something. You're building it. This will never be finished. It'll always be an ongoing project. Wow, <laughs> I hope it keeps on going as a project like that. Yeah, so for, for people to make those type of comments, and, and we'll see those, we know who they are. I don't even get involved in it, guys. I don't care what anybody else does. I don't want to knock anybody else. When anybody else's opinion, they can have their own opinion. I don't really care. I don't care what other people teach or what they think. All I'm worried about is me and what I'm doing in my golf swing. And the information that I offer to people is advice. You can either take the advice or you don't have to take the advice. You're not paying me. So, you know, you're not bound to me and I'm not bound to you. I'm just happy to give anybody any help they want at any time. But I'm never ever going to restrict myself to, the, to, to something of, of the same nature all the time. I mean, that's just not me and I don't think that's the way anybody should think about evolving the golf swing. See, I've got the, the legs bent through the shot, guys, and I've, I've got a little bit of uh, uh, sit down in the shot, but I need more, more secondary tilt. Secondary tilt, guys, is side bend. I can't hang on to this club. It's just ridiculous. That's not bad, JH, for someone that can't hang on to the golf club. Wow, that's a good shot. Let's just hit the sign dead centre. Dead in the middle. It's only a metre wide. So this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm refining. Tweaking. It's what I'm doing. Refining and tweaking. Wow. So what I'm trying to do is I want to get more secondary tilt. I want to push into the ground with my feet. I want to maintain my shape. Five o'clock nose. And if I can hit the ball and um, stay behind it significantly when I hit it, then I've, uh, I've achieved my objective. Even when my hand slips on the grip, the swinger still has enough integrity of structure to still hit the ball dead straight. Okay, the, the contact mightn't be as good, probably be 80% contact, but it still goes dead straight. Of course, the geometry of the swing is sound. <laughs> well, what about 120%? That's really good. This is the best contact I've felt off the golf club, guys, since I've been doing channel lock. I haven't felt contact that's better than this. And we're hitting out of rough, 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 as the dog says. Come on, Chad. I don't know what that looks like, guys. I don't know what it looks like, but that is just absolutely thunder time. I'm just ripping, it's five iron here, and I'm just smashing that. That ball is nuclear, for me, for an old dude. Don't anybody compare themselves against me unless they're 76 going on 77. There's no comparison, guys. I do what I do relative to this old geezer body, and for me that's fantastic for this geezer body. I just love that feeling and, uh, and, uh, and, that, and that hit. Wow.
they're four irons, four iron distance with a five iron. They're just, well, they're nuked. They're absolutely nuked. It's fantastic golf shots. Come on, so stay in it, Jay. A lot of secondary tilt. Just need more, more secondary tilt. Come on. They're good shots. Oh, what the impact sounds like. I haven't got the, fir the grip firmness that I really need at the moment. They're all landing in a 30 foot circle. And they really are. Come on, Jace, nice smooth one. Bit jumpy because I'm trying to grab the grip, guys, but still, still within the circle. But because the grip is, is wet, you tend to just grab it on the downswing. Give it a give it a nice secondary tilt and stay in the shape, James. It's just great. Just having trouble hanging on to the club. Still going dead straight. Come on. A lot of secondary tilt. See how far the club's coming through, guys? It's because it's motoring. It's really motoring. I'm really happy uh, that I can hit it as good as I am with my grip really struggling with the grip. It just wants to come out of my hand. Come on, Jason. Every day it gets better. There's no regression. I have, I don't have any regression in this golf swing. It just gets better every day. You know why it gets better, guys? Because I do the same thing every day. Or I go on from where I was the day before. And the protocol just builds itself. Come on, Jay. They're just so straight, crazy straight, or as Bill Phillips at MMI would say, scary good, scary good. Come on, Jase, get square on. So I clamp that. I don't normally clamp the ball, but that really clamped the ball. I'm normally a sweeper. And I get a few clamp shots now, which I don't normally get, and I don't try to get, but that's a clamp, but a lot of, a lot of clamp on that. See, I'm under the shot, guys. I'm under it. So how would I describe what I'm doing here? This for me is, is the JH real protocol. This is the real CL protocol. This is the real CL protocol for Jade, the one I want. The one I want to have as a, as a final, as a final four. Final protocol. Okay, last shot. Can't hang on to the club. I also hit the last two. Then we make the last two the best two. Bring it back here, Jay. You might be out of camera. Grounds downhill here and everything. Come on, Jay. 
nice big long three lever. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so guys, the message is I want plenty of side bend. I want to stay in the shot. I want to pressure down and I want the ground to pressure back at me. I want to stay in there and I want to hit into out. Here's the tweaking. But I want to pressure down into my feet. Really want to do that. Very important for me to do that in, in, in reality. It really is. Okay, last shot of the day. Come on, James. Last shot's always the best shot. And it was. Wow! Okay, guys, that was a rush because the storm's coming in. I can see it. Everything was quick. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. What I want to do, I want to have more side bend. I want to have more away from me. I want to feel like trail axis here. I'm firing away. I want to feel like I'm actually there when I hit the ball. Um, just hang about. To show you what I want to feel like with the golf swing. I'll just hit a couple of drivers and this is actually what I want to feel. This is what I want to propagate. Oh, it's good to have a cord grip. Ooh. That's where I want to be, guys. Now, that for me is the real protocol. That's where I want to be. There. You know why? Because I've driven my weight down that trail side into that trail vertical axis and I've fired away from it. I've kept this back here so I can straighten my, straighten my trail arm. That's what I want to look like. Okay guys, that storm's coming in, I better vamoose. Okay guys, this is just evolution, evolution, tweaking, tweaking of JH's protocol. No one else's JH's. What I'm doing here is for me. Do you guys want to try it? That's great. But it's only, uh, it's only what I'm doing with my golf swing. And yeah, I'll keep doing it forever. I'll never get to the stage where I won't be tweaking. You can always tweak. Anytime you stop tweaking, as Mo Norman said, you stop looking for a better swing and you'll never find one. There's always a better swing. And it usually invariably it's a variation of what you're doing. Maybe I'll get to the stage one day where I can't improve it, but at the stage I haven't. It's really good and I'm enjoying it, but every day it gets better. So it's tweaking time. And guys, everything's recommendations only. It's what I do. I'm not suggesting you do it. It's what I'm doing in my golf swing. This is the JH practice tee. These are my practice sessions. Okay, guys, have a look at that. Let me know.